So I would say if someone is considering a run municipally, specifically on the school board, because that's where uh, I guess my experience would be is, and this, this sounds obvious, but like some kind of deep connection to education, like a really deep connection to education. And that sounds obvious, but it's, it's certainly not always the case among people who run. And we know school board is often looked at as like a, um, a what is it, a, a leaping point uh, to counselor or a launch pad uh, for something else. So among all the candidates who run, you'll certainly have candidates whose uh, experience in education or, or depth in education uh, may, not all, may not always be there. So I can only speak from my, my personal example of when my friend ran, uh, Parthi Kandavel, who was elected uh, to the TDSB in 2014. Not that this has to be everybody, but he is a, as a teacher and his, uh, his parents were teachers and actually his grandparents were teachers back in Sri Lanka where, where um, he, he immigrated from. So that's like everyone doesn't necessarily need this long, deep uh, family connection in education. But I think if you're thinking about, OK, I want to be on the school board, I want to shape education for the uh, for the province or sorry for the municipality you have to think okay what's my grounding in education what's my interest level in education do i really want to be on a board dealing with these education issues if my love and my passion isn't there so the first thing i think um, any candidate should do is, is sort of look into their heart and do some internal reflection and say you know do i really want this position because i'm interested in education or do i want this you know, for, for, for some other kind of reason, which isn't necessarily bad, but it, it may mean it's, it's not necessarily the best uh, fit for what you want to do. And uh, so that would be my primary advice. And it, it seems uh, so obvious, but I don't think it's, all, it's always taken. So I would say from my personal experience, and if you've seen some of these other videos that I've done, I, you know, I probably lost six or seven campaigns before I did done the eighth that ultimately s succeeded and these campaigns are at a university level so it could be easy to disregard them and say well you know the lessons are different but really university is a microcosm of municipal in the same way municipal elections are really a microcosm of provincial and national so going back to that level I'd say the mistakes that I made at the beginning were trying to do too much myself um, I remember during one of my first university campaigns, I was literally going around putting 600 posters up into the night all by myself. Some people approached me even to volunteer and I said, don't worry about it, you know, I'm just going to just going to do this campaign by myself, which is, of course, completely opposite to what a, what, a, what a campaign is. A campaign is about building a volunteer base, building people, kind of building an organization and bringing people in, sharing with them you know, a message, a vision, and making them feel included in something. Because the campaign isn't just about the individual, the campaign is really about a group. Um, your immediate group of your supporters and also the larger constituents to who you want to ultimately represent and serve. So I think in terms of pitfalls, the first thing you have to do is maybe even just get a piece of paper and write down everyone's name on there who you feel like would support you, your friends, your family, uh, your coworkers, uh, a lot of people in their head or maybe they have a Facebook list, they have some idea of, of a fuzzy list of ultimately if, when the time comes who's going to support them. But I think the best thing would actually be to write it down, actually build that contact list, list and contact all those people and to try and build a team. You know, you're going to need a team at any level and in municipally when we ran, um, the, the people that were there from the beginning to the end, those volunteers were crucial. Uh, to our success. So that would be my advice to someone who's uh, about to start.